The first grouping is what we call pes planus, which is a flat foot. And a flat foot, by definition, is just a foot that has a, a very low arch. So inside the flat foot, we have two subgroupings. We have what we call a flexible flat foot and a rigid flat foot. Essentially, the flexible flat foot is a flat foot that has a lot of motion and a lot of joint motion. And then we have a rigid flat foot, which is a very bad flat foot that has very restricted motion. And we deal with those a little bit differently from each other. Then we have the second category, which is what we call pes rectus, or the normal arch. And that foot, fairly easy to take care of. It has a normal range of motion, and I don't really see any rigid rectus or normal feet. And the last grouping is a pes cavus, or a high arch foot. And in that, there are two subgroups, flexible cavus and rigid cavus. So we look at five basic types. Pes planus, and the two subgroups, is it flexible, is it rigid? Then we have pes rectus, which is a normal arch, and then the last grouping, which is pes cavus, or the high arch, is it flexible or is it rigid?